Hi. Look at the table. We are table 125 and we already dropped everything off. And I have Sam with me. <laughs> well, it's Friday, November 18th and it is day zero of Anime Pasadena. I'm exhausted because I'm still tired from last weekend. We're just setting up and it took a while. The whole loading dock process was very confusing, but we're here now. All right, so for the most part, we are all set up um, for Anime Pasadena. It does come with an eight-foot table, and then here's our table number. We decided to tape it over. Um, I'll probably include the rest of the display tomorrow morning, um, but at least for the most part, it's all ready, and now we're just going to have to wrap everything up. And now we are all set up and tarp is wrapped and we are ready to go. See you tomorrow. Behind the scenes. Oh, that's sad. That's messed up. <laughs> <laughs> and we are finally here. The hurdles we had to go through for this. Hello again. It is day one and today is Saturday and I feel like it's gonna be pretty crazy. There was a really long line outside. Apparently some people camped out. I don't know why. Um, probably for the voice actors. Um, but even for parking, I arrived around 8 and the parking lot closest to the Sheraton was already full. So I had to park across the street. Also, I guess a hack. If you don't mind walking, it's $3 less. It's around 9-10 in the morning, so we have a good amount of time left. So this is the finished setup and it's so cute. So I feel like it's tall enough because it is like five grid cubes high. So it's about seven and a half feet. So it's tall enough that you can see like above people's heads, which is my goal. Um, and everything looks good. Hopefully it goes well. Look at her booth, it's so cute. Ah, it's like finally get to meet internet friends. Oh, <laughs> also, look her up. <laughs> I know! <laughs> Here's the hallway before it opens. Um, I will say that um, Artist Alley is like all the way in the back, but you can't really tell that it's Artist Alley. There's like no clear dividers, so to be honest, you can pretty much just get tables like closer to the entrance. I got a few voice actors to sign my stuff. Um, made too much money. So I got the voice actor of Nesco to sign it. And then the voice actors for Eden and Inosuke. He was really nice. I'm surprised he had a lot of energy given that the line was super long. And then later today I went to meet Mikasa's voice actor so she can sign that pin and then I should be good I think for the weekend. There's a lot of good voice actors. It's just so funny to me. Like it's just leaning on the wall. <laughs> Look how cute this is. It's a thousand sunny and it has all the characters in it. I wish I can unwrap it right now, but this is a mouse pad and it's so, so cute. We are still here. It is 4.55, so that means we have two-ish hours left because it ends at 7 today. Tomorrow it's from 10 to 6. And I feel like, I mean, again, I wasn't here most of today. I apologize. <laughs> um, was was it busy? How, let me ask you. I mean, is it, today wasn't like crazy busy, mm -hmm. but we did get people. And yeah. Like, we obviously made some sales, so it's like yeah. worth it. It's good. I feel like, yeah, like even looking at the keychains that are like right here, it's, I know it sold more last weekend, so I think people just bought things last week and then maybe today they're like, I already bought stuff, so I think that's the case. But Sam's art looks gonna, so good. I'm gonna be your competition. I know. Yeah. <laughs> uh oh, trade secrets. No, no. <laughs> Ooh, um, I barely updated. I'll update tomorrow, but uh, anime Pasadena is over. Day two. Hello, it is day two of Anime Pasadena, and it is also the last day because it's only a Saturday, Sunday event. And today I'm also with Jamie. I have another helper <laughs> this time. Um, so a little review on yesterday. To be honest, I wasn't at the table most of the time. If you came by, I apologize if I wasn't here. I was running around getting voice actor autographs. I feel like yesterday looking at like the tallies and basically counting up the money, it was like, 
I'm personally satisfied with how much we made. I think if you're out of town, your expenses would have to be like, in order to break even, obviously it's higher. I don't know if it's a super great event if you're out of town, especially if you flew. I'll have to see after today's results because yesterday, to be honest, I think most people were getting their stuff signed by auto by autographs. People were getting their stuff signed by VAs. That costs a lot of money and again, a lot of time too. So I think a lot of people yesterday were mostly just looking around and just like looking to see like what they might want to buy for Sunday, assuming they got a weekend pass. Also, I don't think I mentioned it, but I did bring both B-grade bags and, so B-grade bags and then standard bags. So I made it easier for people to see and divide it by <laughs> display that way. It's been great. So far we've sold out of the black B-grade bag. I'm trying to remember if I have some at home still, but I remember having a lot and the fact that we sold out is pretty great. So I just returned and finally came from getting uh, Mikasa's voice actor uh, to sign her pin and she is so, so sweet. I think it was one of the most friendly experiences I've had with a voice actor. Like she's so, so nice. I just came back again. To be honest, for Sunday, it's been pretty slow. It's consistent, but slow and steady. Not a bad thing. I already got all of my expenses like paid for yesterday, so I'm not too worried. Um, I'm just trying to max out December or December, November, because um, my last event is LA Comic Con in a couple weeks. Also, I got these super cute crocheted barrettes. I'm not a, I'm not really a barrette person. However, I wanted to put it on my liner. So freaking cute! Look at that. Look how cute these post-it notes are. She's my vendor neighbor. Also, I will say, if you're not familiar with the Pasadena area, there is a lot of food places within walking distance. Like I had my sister go get some boba, um, and it's like maybe like a mile away on foot. I think at least for Anime Pasadena, you can walk in and out as long as you have your badge. Yeah, if you wanted to see it closer, like this is one example. So like you would have to like squeeze oh, it out. Size the yeah. Mm -hmm. Can I get the chopper? The chopper cover? Anything else for you? Um, All right. That'll be 12, please. That'll be 12, please. Hard touch your business. Um, under pirate? Uh, and then chopper? Alright, and then you're all set. Thank you! Have a good one! So this is probably the only time I will actually have time to do a quick summary of this weekend's event. So it is 5.37 and overall, I, at least for me, like Anime Pasadena was not amazing, but it was pretty decent, at least for me, um, with an expectation of like my average on revenue. I would do this event again, especially as someone who is local. Pretty much most of my expenses were really just vendor fee, um, helper fee, parking, and then food, um, and then paying myself. I feel like most people here are here for the voice actors. The lines were so long for the voice actors. Like, pretty much a lot of people had Funko Pops and they had them signed and autographed. Obviously, with that, you will have to pay a pretty hefty fee, especially if you're seeing a lot of voice actors. So, I understand that not a lot of people will have extra money for the vendors and artists in the exhibit hall. I can't remember how much the table fee was, however, I will have it up here. Overall, we'll do this event again. Also, some advice for securing your display. I do have one of these, I don't know what they're called, but they're like clamps. And I know a few artists who do use them on their tri not tripods, but the flat-footed tripod. So I wanted to clamp my display to the table. I heard glass break. Anyway, I do use a clamp just because my display is really tall. And I have noticed that because like there are phone grips on the other side, people will pull on the phone grips and it does move the display. And because it is super tall, I'm afraid that it will fall on people. So 
So in order to prevent that from happening, I use these clamps. I will have them linked below. However, these are nice because it matches the display and it's all pink. The way I clamp them is that I put a grid cube here. Um, because I do want these flat on the table, I kind of Velcro zip tie them on there. So we are mostly packed up and I'm going to try to be able to do everything um, within one trip. Thank you so much for watching. Hopefully you found this video helpful and enjoyed it. Please give it a big thumbs up and subscribe if you enjoy Artist Alley vlogs. You can watch this video for my most recent Artist Alley video and hope to see y'all soon. Bye!